Hello everyone and a warm welcome. In this lecture, you will get to know about electrophoresis. It is a useful technique for life sciences. In this lecture, you will get an easy explanation of electrophoresis. In playlist, you will get more lectures on electrophoresis, different types of electrophoresis. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for more informative lectures and tutorials on this subject. So let's get started. To begin with, electrophoresis is a technique, it is a term, it has two parts, electro and phoresis. Electro means electric field, phoresis means movement. So electrophoresis is movement of charged particles under electric field. The charged particles can be of two types, anions negatively charged, cations positively charged. Electrophoresis, the movement of charged particle can be anaphoresis if the movement is of anions which are negatively charged particle they will move towards the electrode anode which is the positive electrode cataphoresis is the movement of cations which are the positive ions they move towards the negatively charged electrode which is the cathode in electrophoresis there is separation of biological molecules Biological molecules, they have the groups so they can form the ions and at different pH, at a given pH, they can either be the anion or the cation. The biological molecules can be amino acid, peptide, nucleotides or these can be nucleic acid. Electrophoresis can be broadly classified into moving boundary electrophoresis where there is no support media. Zone electrophoresis where there is support media. The first one in which there is no support media that means the moving boundary electrophoresis. We will study it in detail. It has a U glass tube having two arms. The arms are fitted with the electrodes, the cathode and the anode which are the platinum electrodes. At both the ends of the U tube the refractometer is placed. In center there is a cavity where the sample is loaded. The sample if it contains the cations it will move towards the negative charged electrode which is the cathode. If the sample contains the anions it will move towards the positive electrode anode. So depending whether there is migration to the cathode or to the anode there will be a change in the refractive index of the solution. This change in refractive index of the solution is proportional to the concentration of the substance present in the sample. The disadvantage of the moving boundary electrophoresis is that resolution is very low and this method is not good to separate and analyze the complex biological samples. So other types of electrophoresis which are the zone electrophoresis they are usually followed. In zone electrophoresis, there is a support medium and the support medium is inert and made up of polymers. Different types of the zone electrophoresis are paper, starch, agar and polyacrylamide. The separation in the zone electrophoresis is on the basis of size and charge. The first type of the zone electrophoresis is the paper electrophoresis. Here the filter paper which is a chromatographic grade is used. This is carried for the study and separation of the plasma proteins. There are two chambers, anode chamber and the cathode chamber. These chambers are connected with the power supply, which is a DC current. The paper is dipped in the chambers at both the ends. The sample is spotted in the center of the paper. The sample will migrate depending upon the charged ions present in it. So spots they migrate according to their charges. The separation is on the basis of the charge usually. The separated components can be detected by the staining techniques. To improve this method, cellulose acetate electrophoresis is used which is better than the paper in being homogeneous, having uniform pore size and it does not absorb the proteins like the paper. The second type of the matrix, the support medium is the agrose. The electrophoresis is the agrose electrophoresis. It is also called agrose horizontal electrophoresis since it is carried out in the horizontal manner. 
Here the polymer is the agarose which is a purified form of agar. It contains the monomers galactose and 3,6 anhydrogalactose. The concentration used is 1-3%. The concentration determines the pore size of the gel. Agarose is sold in purity grades more pure if it contains lesser of the sulfate ions. It can be used for the electrophoresis of proteins and DNA. The positive point of agarose is that it has low melting point 62 to 65 degrees Celsius and it can be reliquified at 65 degree Celsius. Gel is prepared by dissolving dry agarose in the aqueous solution in a buffer, boiling it till it becomes clear and then it is poured and allowed to cool at the room temperature to form the rigid gel. This is the setup of the horizontal electrophoresis unit. It contains the electrodes, the negative and the positive electrode. In the center, there is an insulating plate on which the gel is loaded and this is connected to the power supply. After the electrophoresis has been run, this is showing the gel plates. In this gel plate, initially when the gel was made, then a paper comb was used to make the wells. The wells were loaded with the sample. The first lane indicates the DNA marker. The other lanes were loaded with the unknown samples of the DNA. After the gel is run, then certain dyes, the fluorescent tags or radioactive labels can be used to determine the presence of these bands of the gels. By comparing the band of the DNA sample with those that of the DNA marker, the approximate size of the DNA fragments in the sample can be determined. So it depends upon the pore size. If the fragments are smaller, then they will move further, but the fragments which are bulky, which are more in size, they will move only close to the wells. The next type of electrophoresis is the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. It is also called the page electrophoresis. Here the polymer is polyacrylamide. The monomers are acrylamide and the bisacrylamide. Acrylamide shown in the red color. Bisacrylamide also called bis is shown in the green color. Acrylamide monomer is polymerized to form the long chains in the head to tail fashion and occasionally a bis molecules come in between. The polymerization of the acrylamide and bis is initiated by the addition of the ammonium persulfate and timid. Timid is an N and prime and prime tetramethylene diamine. This polymerization of acrylamide is an example of the free radical catalysis. This is called usually STS page or it is the carried in the vertical manner. So it is called the vertical electrophoresis. STS stands for sodium dodecyl polyacrylamide electrophoresis. This is carried for the purification of the protein. The STS is detergent, is an ionic detergent. It is used to give the negative charge to the protein molecule. Sample is boiled in buffer which contains the reducing agent beta mercaptoethanol and the STS. Beta mercaptoethanol reduces the disulfide bonds which hold the tertiary structure, hence forming the protein a rod shaped structure and because of the STS, a negative charge is found on the protein molecule. Now the protein molecule is negatively charged, tracking dye is the bromophenol blue. Here the two gels they are prepared. The first one is the stacking gel, it is of the concentration 4% and it is having up to the length of 1 cm. The longer one gel is the separating gel, it is having the 10% concentration. The protein STS complex, they are negatively charged so they will move towards the anode. The purpose of the stacking gel is to concentrate the protein sample before it enters the separating gel. As the separating gel is reached by the protein molecules, 
then the protein will get separated according to their size. The smaller protein molecules, they will travel further by the larger ones, they are retarded. After the electrophoresis has been done, then the gel is stained with commercial brilliant blue for one hour and it is destained overnight. After the staining, the bands are obtained. If the protein is a pure molecule, then single band is seen. If it is a mixture, then more than two bands they are seen. The protein marker is also run along to determine the molecular mass of the protein in the sample. This is showing the apparatus for the STS page. The vertical type of electrophoresis, the gel is cast in between two glass plates. A comb is used to make the wells. The upper portion is the stacking gel, the lower portion is the separating gel. It is connected to the anode and the cathode, the negative electrode. After the electrophoresis, the gel is seen in this manner. The first well was loaded with the ladder of the protein, the known protein marker. The others were loaded with the unknown sample. The bands, they correspond to the different size which correspond to different kilodaltons of the protein which is the ladder protein or the known protein sample in the first well. After the electrophoresis, the proteins they can be separated and identified by different methods. So that was the description of the electrophoresis and there will you will find the more such videos in the playlist. So thanks for watching. All the best for your future. Bye and take care.